How's it going? It's Kingsley here and I'm going to be doing another PC building project so I thought I might as well show you guys the components that I got for this one. Um, this is a low budget PC build and it's a lot of the parts you're going to see here are extremely inexpensive. Anyway, we're just going to start off with the case and this case cost me €33.11. I got it from a website called dabs.ie. In fact, most of the components here are from dabs.ie. It's an Irish and UK based website. They're really good for getting parts from, however their shipping can be a bit of a, you know, the whole process is a bit of a hassle, but we're not gonna talk about that. This case is a micro ATX case, and one of the main features about it that I liked was just the stealth covers at the front here. Next is the processor, and it's an Intel Pentium. Now, a lot of people, you know, still think Pentium are great, which they are, so that's why I went with Pentium. This PC is just going to be on 24 7 sitting around. It's not, I'm not really going to do anything with it. I'm not going to be doing video editing or you know, playing games. It's definitely not capable of doing that. So, if you're planning on building a PC, um, if it's for gaming, you might want to look elsewhere because this is not for gaming at all. Uh, this processor actually cost me 51 euro 89 cent. It's the new Haswell processor as well. It has the 1150 socket, and this is the G3220, by the way. Now, a lot of the items you're seeing here, none of them went over 60 euro. That's what I can tell you. And in total, I think I spent about uh, 250 euro. And next is the motherboard. It's from ASUS. Now, I already have an ASUS motherboard. That's why I went with this, because I actually think they're great. Um, brand and this is a micro ATX motherboard as well this is a H81MC but I actually wanted to get the H81M plus unfortunately they didn't have it in stock and um, for the boot drive I'm going to be using this 2.5 inch uh, hard drive and um, this is a spare part that I had from an old laptop and it's a western digital hard drive and it's 320 gigabytes and this is just a uh, 3.5 inch adapter bay um, for the hard drive and then I have a few more accessories uh, SATA cable this is 6 gigabit SATA cable and then I have the memory this is a Kingston Hyper X Blue and it's just 4 gig of memory I might get another 4 gig RAM and make it 8 gig but uh, we'll just see how it goes with 4 gig for now and uh, I have a fan here, it's from, I think, a Casa, I don't know how you pronounce them, but this is the first time I bought one of their products, and uh, it's meant to be an ultra quiet fan, so I'll have a look and see what that's like. It's an 80mm fan as well, because this case only supports two 80mm fans, and uh, I also have a, a spare 80mm fan that I got out of my uh, Zaman Z11 Plus case that you can see over here. Uh, I don't use it so I decided to take it out and put it into this new case. Here I have a PWM signal motherboard cable. Now this is just to basically, because the motherboard only has one chassis um, connector for your fan and uh, this basically will allow me to connect the two fans. Next is the main hair drive. This is a one terabyte Seagate Barracuda hair drive. Now, um, this is 7200 RPM, obviously. Um, the reviews on this hair drive were pretty good. Usually I like to go with Western uh, Digital Blue or, or Red. Don't go with the green drives. They have a lot of problems. Uh, they always seem to fail on people. But yeah, this is a Seagate um, Barracuda 1 terabyte hair drive. Um, finally, for the, <coughs> excuse me again, finally for the computer part, I have the optical drive. Now, optical drives, most people don't really uh, consider them at all because it's just an optical drive. And the only thing I'm mainly going to use this for is to install the operating system. Um, I guess I mainly also got it because of this stealth uh, window that you can see here and I just think it's a good feature for such an inexpensive case. Um, I have a, I picked up a few other um, accessories as well. 
I have a home plug. This is a Trangnet power line adapter. It's basically um, a way of expanding your internet access in your home. Now, these are really, really good, and I, I'll put up another video about these adapters. Um, this is actually my second kit. As you can see here, I have another box. That's how good they are. That's how much I like this home line. Uh, sorry, this Paraline home plug. And then I got a gigabit switch as well. This is a five part gigabit switch. And uh, I'm basically just gonna use that to connect all my Ethernet um, cables from my PCs, consoles, TVs, etc. And it's really cheap as well to get one of these. And uh, it's a great investment if you, because it's always good to just connect um, directly through Cat5 e cables. Um, that's about it, I guess. There isn't really anything else that. Yeah, that's. I think I pretty much covered everything. And um, if you have any questions about any of the components, or if you're planning on getting them yourself, do ask me because obviously I'll have this built um, by the time this video is up. And um, yeah, like I said, it's this is an extremely low budget PC.